Welcome to your favourite day of the week, everyone, where it's our favourite time of year again. We're leading up until Christmas every single day. We're going through a strange and funny story which has happened in history. Yesterday, we went through the man who got a bit of stage fright, and today, we've got a pretender to the throne. So let's see what's behind door number 20... 19... 17... 18... 19... John Daedrus, the pretender to the throne. So one of the worst kings of England has to arguably be Edward II, a man who gave vast sums of money and land to his favourites, causing him to be deeply unpopular with his nobles and the public. However, what if he was never actually meant to be king and was just a massive imposter? Well, that is what one man by the name of Don Daedrus, or John of Powderingham, claimed in 1318 saying the kingdom belonged to him by right of blood. John was a young clerk from Oxford who claimed he and Edward had been swapped at birth, with observers noting there resemblance between the two men. However, John was missing an ear. His claim was that he was attacked by a pig in the castle courtyard, which chewed off his ear, and the royal servant who was watching him changed him with another child as she knew she would be severely punished by King Edward I. John offered to fight Edward in single combat to prove that the throne was his, and his story quickly spread around the whole of England. King Edward II was amused at first by the claims, and then angered as his kingdom in its current state was in absolute disarray because of him, and John's claims mocked his incompetence as people believed it. John was arrested and brought before Edward, where he once again challenged him to single combat and repeated his claims that Edward was illegitimate. Illegitimate. He was illegitimate. You get the idea. <laughs> Edward actually thought about keeping him around as an amusing pastime, but the danger of rebellion rallying around John was too great as many in England absolutely despised Edward. At his trial, John was a massive snitch, retracting his claim, saying that he made it up and his cat, who was apparently possessed by the devil, led him astray. He and his cat were hanged for this fraudulent claim, although I'm not sure how you hang a cat, but John's story just showed what a fragile state Edward's kingdom was in. So I've been Jamie's day, your favourite day of the week, and this was the pretender to the English throne. Thank you so much for watching everyone, and I hope you've all enjoyed. And join us tomorrow, where we'll be climbing through poo to win a castle. I'll see you all then. Peace.